And here we have lesson three of our factors and products unit. 3.3, .3, common factors of polynomials. So we want to think back a little bit to grade nine and remember exactly what a polynomial is. Polynomial is an expression consisting of variables, that's letters, coefficients, and that have addition, subtraction, multiplication, or non-negative integer exponents. So we're looking for letters and numbers that are combined with addition and subtraction or multiplication signs, and all of our exponents are positive exponents. So here's some words that you might be familiar with when we talk about polynomials. We've got a term. A term is a combination of a number and a variable and an exponent. Coefficient is the number in front of the variable, and sometimes we'll see a number just by itself. We call that a constant. So in polynomials, there are three types. There's a monomial, a binomial, and a trinomial. A monomial is defined as a single term. Binomial will have two terms. And a trinomial will have three terms. Anything over three, we just simply call it a four-term po four polynomial, or perhaps a five- or six-term polynomial, depending on how many we have. So now let's look at how we factor these polynomials. And we'll look at our first example here. Now to factor this polynomial, we are going to use the greatest common factor method, GCF. So we want to factor the polynomial 8t minus 20. So before I even start factoring, I like to kind of remind myself, well, what are the terms here? So the terms are going to be 8t, that's the first one. And the second one will be minus 20. Now there are two of them, which makes this a binomial. Well, what are the coefficients? Well, the coefficients are the numbers in front of the letters. So in this case, this is the only letter we have. So our coefficient is 8. And the constant. Constant is the number by itself, so we're going to say minus 20. So this just kind of reminds me of what I'm dealing with in terms of my polynomial. Now let's actually look at doing the greatest common factor. We started doing this idea about two lessons ago, so it should be a little quicker for us now. The first term we take in is 8t. The second term we're going to write down, but we're going to ignore that minus sign for a second. So I'm going to type down 20. Start factoring 8t. Numbers that multiply together to give me 8 are 1 and 8, and then, of course, 2 and 4. There's a single t here, so I'll put down 1t. Take the number 20 and factor it. We've got 1 and 20. We've got 2 and we've got 10. And of course, we've got 4 and 5. So we ask ourselves, what is the greatest number that is common? Well, I've got 1s, I've got 2s, I've got 4s. That looks like it. So I can say the greatest common number is 4. What about my letters? I've got a T and I've got nothing. So there's nothing common to both lists, so I don't have any letters that are common. So my greatest common factor is 4. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take out a 4 from 8t and a 4 from negative 20. So 4 divided by, or 8 divided by 4 gives me 2, and I got 2t. And then I've got negative 20 divided by 4, which is minus 5. So when I factor 8t minus 20, I take out a 4, leaves me with 4t minus 5. Okay, let's move on to our next page. And we're going to factor the following polynomial. 10a squared plus 35at minus 25. And again, let's start thinking about what are the terms. Well, the terms are 
10 a squared positive 35 at and minus 20. What are the coefficients? Coefficients here again are positive 10 and positive 35 in front of the letters. And finally, what are the constants? Numbers by itself would be negative 25. This is a three term polynomial, so we call it a trinomial. And again, I'm just thinking about this stuff to make sure I understand what's going on with a polynomial. So let's start factoring this using the greatest common factor. Again, take the first term, 10a squared. The second term is 35at. And the second term is negative 25. But I'm going to ignore that negative for a sec and write down just 25. So start to factor. Factors of 10. 1 and 10. 2 and 5. Hopefully as you do this repeatedly, these become much more quicker for you. Now my a squared, I've got two a's, so I'm going to write down a and a. The number 35, I've got 1 and 35. 2 doesn't go, 3 doesn't go, 4 doesn't go, 5 goes, 5 and 7. And 6 doesn't go either. So I've got 1, 5, 7, and 35. My letters are A and a T. And finally, 25. 1 and 25. 2 doesn't go, 3 doesn't go, 4, 5 goes. 5 and 5, I'll only write it down once. There are no letters here, so I've got simply 1, 5, and 25. Now we look what's common to both lists for numbers. I've got 1's and I've got 5's, so the greatest is 5. In my letters, I've got 2 A's, 1 A, no A, so the A's aren't common. There's no T, 1 T, and no T, so there are no letters common again. So to pull up my greatest common factor is going to be 5. I'm going to take each term and divide it by 5. So I've got 10 divided by 5, which is 2. Now I still have my a squareds, so I'll write that down. 35 divided by 5 is 7, plus 7. My at still comes along for the right. And finally, I've got negative 25 divided by 5, which will give me minus 5. You really got to watch your negative terms when you're doing this. So I close my bracket, and when I factor my trinomial, I get 5, and then 2a squared plus 7at minus 5. Okay, let's move on to our third example here. Factor the following polynomial, 9a to the third b plus 6ab squared plus 18a to the fourth b. Again, terms, how many? I've got three, making it a trinomial. Coefficients, 9, 6, and 18. I've got three of them this time. And how many constants do I have? How many numbers by itself? Well, I don't have any. So the answer is not zero, but rather there are none. So again, greatest common factor, let's take out each term. 9a to the third b. 6ab squared. And 18a to the fourth b. Start by factoring the 9. 1 and 9. 2 doesn't go, 3 goes, 3 and 3. Only going to write down once though a to the third, I've got three a's, so I'll write each out individually, and I've got one b. Six, well I've got one and six, two and three, and that's all. I've got one a, and I've got two b's. Finally, eighteen, I've got one and eighteen, I've got 2 and 9. 
I've got three and six, four doesn't go, and five doesn't go. For my letters, I've got four A's. One, two, three, four, and I've got one B. So now we look what's common to both sets. The one's common, three's common, and that's it. So my greatest number is going to be the three. My letters, I've got an A, A, and A, so that's common. And I've got a B, B, and B, so that's common. So in this case, my greatest common factor contains both numbers and letters. It's 3, A, B. So now I pull a 3, A, B out of each term. 3 divided by 3 is 3. A cubed divided by A. Remember when you're dividing exponents, you subtract them. 3 minus 1 is 2, so I get A squared. And B minus B, 1 minus 1 is 0, it disappears. And then 6 divided by 3 is 2. A divided by A, 1 divided by 1, disappears. B squared divided by B, 2 minus 1 gives me B. And then finally, 18 divided by 3 is 6. A to the fourth divided by A is A to the third. And B1 divided by B1 is B0, which disappears. Close off my brackets. So when I factor my polynomial, I get 3AB uh, as my factor, leaving with 3A squared plus 2B plus 6A to the third. And we've got some textbook work. Page 155. Questions got cut off here, so I'll write them in. You can do 2 from the A's, 5 from the B's, and try 1C. I think if you remember to show your work, set up your table, make sure you understand what all the factors are, what's the greatest, you'll have no problem with this.